Diseases of the blood affect the body as a whole probably more than any other single disorder. Great strides are being made in the field of pediatric hematology, giving those children affected by blood disease a chance at a normal, healthy life, as we learn from Dr. Diane Nugent of Children's Hospital of Orange County. Hematology, the word heme, actually means blood. And so hematology takes care of children or adults that have any problems at all with their blood. And many times people think that's just the red blood cells, which of course are the dominant portion of our blood that carry oxygen. And so they're very important, the red blood cells. But it also carries blood clotting proteins, which are very important to help us clot. Both men and women and children have many different aspects of uh, bleeding and clotting disorders. Some people clot too much, some people clot too little. The other thing in our bloodstream is our immune cells, and so to fight infection. We asked Dr. Nugent about the patients she sees and how they're affected. So as a hematologist, I see a very broad range of patients, both adults and children, and both those people that have a primary problem with their blood, like anemia or recurrent infections or clotting, as we mentioned before. But also, when patients, healthy individuals, are sick, uh, many times they have things that are complicated. Um, for example, in the intensive care unit, they may have catheters that clot, which means their catheters can't work. Or in the case of a burn patient, maybe they, they have severe anemia. So we both see patients with a primary blood problem and also see patients that are severely sick where some aspect of their blood is affected. How are blood disorders diagnosed? Hematology, there are hundreds and hundreds of disorders, and the important thing, of course, is to make the correct diagnosis. Because, uh, for example, if a child comes in very anemic with small red blood cells, most people think that that's probably iron deficiency. And most of the time, it is, because children grow quickly, they need lots of iron for their blood. But if you, don't, if you give the iron and you don't follow up and the anemia doesn't go away, by far and away, the more common problem is something called thalassemia, which is a familial form of anemia present throughout the world where the red blood cells are very small and it doesn't matter how much iron you give, their blood is not going to change. So you really have to make the right diagnosis and then you can determine the treatment. And there's treatment for all the diseases that we see. Some patients need blood, but many other people simply need uh, oral medications. Bone marrow failure, on the other hand, is a much more serious problem. In that setting, all of the cells in the blood are failing. So you have no red cells, no white cells, and that's called aplastic anemia, a very serious disorder that we do bone marrow transplant for. One of the most important improvements in healthcare in general is that we use a team approach. And the most important member of that team is the family, the patient, and the parent, because we can work with them together to improve all aspects of care so that that child is not isolated, that they're fully integrated, that taking their medicine will result in improvement. And what's on the horizon for hematology research? Now that we understand the human genome better, we know where the genes are now. But our focus is really to look at what are the genes that control those genes? How does that impact the severity of disease? And maybe we don't have to replace the whole gene. Maybe we just need to learn how to turn it on.